Okay, hi everyone. This is the first pattern I would like to teach you. And this pattern has two parts and I'm gonna play them to you separately. We're gonna work on them separately and then put it all together. Let me show you the part A. on that part A. Here it is. As you can see, you'll find all the symbols uh, we've been working on on the, the symbol tutorial video. First of all, we have to be organized. Uh, it could be too much the mess to st start working on everything on the nuances, on the rhythm and counting at the same time and, and cool. First, it's very important to localize to, to see where are the notes you'll be using for that part A. We'll be using note number five, note number seven, note number six, and then seven again. Where are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here are the three spots I'll be using for this part A. Then maybe this part A is too long for you. So we're gonna split it in two. This is why uh, you have that black dot and we'll be working on that very first part. Let's have a look at it without playing with the metronome, without even being on the beat. Let's have a look. We have the ding on the one. We have a ghost note. We have the note five, then the note seven, and then one, two, three, four. Four ghost notes starting from the right. One, two, three three, four. Okay. The ding, a ghost note, five and seven, and then four ghost notes in a row. Okay, here is our tempo, 60. It's very slow, but I really want everyone to be with me. If it's too slow for you, jump ahead in the video and you'll find a higher tempo. I'm not asking you right now, guys, to count while playing, to count what's going on, to count the pattern but just to understand the movement and later on because it could be too much information later on we'll be counting because it's very 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 useful so in order to help you to start with me i'm gonna count like this three and four and we start together okay with me three and four and Note number five, seven, and four ghost notes in a row. Again, five, seven, four ghost notes. Again. Okay. Now we can move on to 70 with me, three and four and one. If you are ever lost, remember that you just have to keep alternating your hands. You'll never do two times the right in a row or two times the left four ghost notes. One more time. And we're back on the one. Now we're gonna play with uh, another tempo, 80. With me, three and four and one. And my four ghost notes. Okay, and 
Now let's try to count. It's so helpful. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Let's have a look right now at that second part, which starts from the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But not with the left hand, with the right hand. So we'll have, look at it actually, it's very simple. Six, three ghost notes, seven, three ghost notes. Six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three. Six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three. Let's try with 60, just to make sure you got it. Three and four and six, seven. I'm speaking about the note and not number six, three ghost notes in a row. Note number seven, three ghost notes in a row, okay? So, since I'm teaching you the parts separately, I put one and two and three and four and to work that on that first one. And then I put again one and two and three and four and. But now we're going to play the whole thing together, that whole part. Uh, I'm going to put one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and we're back on the one. So with me, from the very beginning, 70, the whole sentence, the whole pattern. With me, get ready. Three and four and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and again. And please stop counting if it's too much the mess. Just get used to the movement and then you'll have the counting. Again, just the movement. And later on, you'll count. Okay, 90. With me. Are you ready? Three and four and can count, please count. Okay. 110 with me. Three and four and one. I'm not counting that much because I don't want to put the mess, uh, but please count whenever it's possible for you. Ready? Three and four and one. I'm not really focused on my ghost notes, how to make them sound. You know, I have, I'm just touching my instrument, but then we'll be working on the new ones. What I'm saying is that for now, I'm just working on the movement. So my ghost notes are like this, but later on, you'll then be working on having a soft touch here rather than okay but for now i want you guys to understand to internalize that movement 
150. Ready? Three, and four, and. play all the different uh, BPM but uh, at home just pick up whichever tempo you want and work with it with me three and four and After that to work on counting just to develop that intern clock and to work on your nuances uh, going from that to that how did I do that I just reduced the sound volume of my ghost notes my ghost notes were doing this now they are doing this. So for this pattern, I really suggest you 180, which is a good one. Actually, it's 360, but we have to divide by two, otherwise it's too noisy. Check this out, 360. Horrible. So we divide by two, 180. Ready? Three and four and. This is a great tempo. You can stop there. 180 is fine. Okay, so at home, start from 20 BPM if necessary, and then try to reach that 180 BPM. And then once you're comfortable with it, you can jump to the next video for the part B. See you very soon. Ciao, ciao.